thank you for coming back. It is time for me to show you the newest architect home remodel. Alyssa over at Sims Therapy picked house number three for me this time. This is for late July 2020. So I haven't really looked too closely at this point and I have not done the remodel yet. So I'm just looking at it here. Looks like we have a basement and from what I can tell a lot of the French looking items. And there's just kind of a nursery right there. This is a very long room here, very long. They have the kitchen over here, dining here, and a living area here. So, so far, if you haven't done the French event, obviously you would hit the jackpot with this house. There's a bedroom over there, and then like I said, a nursery here, and it looks like a TV room back there. You do get that little toy there. I don't know that everyone has that. A little pull back here. There's the bedroom. And then here's a bathroom with one of the newer floors as well. So that's the first floor and the basement. Now we're on the second floor. You have another bedroom here. And so far with the layout i'm a little bit concerned because of how the rooms are sort of placed but there's another bedroom there a seating area a huge closet another bathroom and another closet over here so that is like a two-room closet it looks like so like i said the layout i'm not really sure about what i'm going to do with it yet but i guess when i come back we will see how it turns out Okay, so now I have it finished, and this was the before, and this is what it looks like now. So as you can see on the before, there was a lot of balcony up front, and I thought what I would do is take some of those bay windows and sort of break that up, and I think it turned out really pretty that way. The entrance is right here on the side. I think that looks really nice as well. I used that dark exterior with the stone at the bottom, and then put the brown maybe wizard's roof on it. I believe that's when we got that roof. I'm not sure, but combined with the brown trim on the windows, I think all of the colors go together very well, as well as the brown doors. I didn't do a whole lot with the backyard. This is built on a small lot, but you can use your imagination with that. The layout, like I said, was a little bit tricky. My first challenge was, as you come in, this really, really long skinny room. I didn't really want to keep it in the style that they had it with all the French items, and I didn't want it to be an all-in-one. I think the way they did it was nice that way, but I wanted to have the kitchen separate. So I put the stairs over here. They weren't here before. So you have a sort of formal entryway here with the staircase, a place to take your shoes on and off. And then over here on this side, you see the bay windows over there. They're decorated. One has a clock on it. And if you look at the room this way, it's broken up into the living area and the dining area together. So remember, I took that kitchen out of there. I used some of the older farmhouse sofas there. I think it looks really nice with that rug. The theme for this house was I just wanted it to look lived in, but not cluttered, if that makes sense. Kind of like a normal person's house. So I put a fireplace here in the corner, off-centered, and then put the table off-centered as well but it's centered on the other side with that window, and I like how that looks a lot. So there are two very large doorways. One leads into this library and music room. I like this room. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I used one of the new bookcases and then put some of the bookcase doors on either side, and you'll see where that leads to in just a second. But on the other side is the piano and one of those beautiful black paintings that I purchased in an online pack. So that is the study and music room. Those doors lead you into this little guest room here. So remember, you could make this any kind of bedroom that you wanted to, or even make it a little TV room or an office, whatever you'd like. But I made it as sort of a guest room, maybe for when the grandparents come over to visit. Through the other big doorway, you have what is now the kitchen. I wanted this to be nice and bright. I used the white stucco wall and that beautiful range hood there and the green cabinets. I think this looks really cute for such a small kitchen. Put the stainless steel sink in between two more of those green cabinets and you can see straight through 
to the dining area if you're entertaining. And then for this little room over here next to the kitchen, I use that as the pantry on that side. There's doors there that go out to the back. And then on the other side, I use that as the laundry area. So you just see the washer and dryer there with the clothes basket. It also contains the trash can for the kitchen. And then for the back room here, we have a bathroom. I love this bathroom. I think it looks really nice. So I put one of the semi-new vanities and towel racks in there with that wallpaper and also the tub that goes with that set. And then on the other side, you have the toilet area, another laundry basket there. And then I know this isn't really functional with the Sims, but I put one of those little areas that looks like a vanity and a stool there just to kind of go with the wallpaper and look really cute in there. So that is the first floor. I did delete the basement. I do that a lot, but remember when I do the remodels, if you're new, otherwise I just don't change the walls. I go in and I redecorate. So this is how the landing looks upstairs. I decided to leave it all open just like that. And I wasn't sure what to do with a lot of these rooms up here. It was really weird connecting them all. So for this as a sort of connector room, I decided to turn this into the home office. So you have a writing desk there, a beautiful buffet with a lamp and a bookshelf there. And I brightened it up with some pretty yellow wallpaper there. So we have lots of doors here and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. I needed places to connect or otherwise you're walking through bedrooms. They had double closets over there and I thought that was a little bit of a waste of space. So I opened this up to the kitchen below and made walkways on either side to not only a bedroom over there, but also the master bedroom. So you can walk across either balcony here to get to this bathroom, which is in this corner, that's also accessible to the master bedroom. And I just basically used the same items as downstairs, just the lighter color vanity and just a toilet over there. And you can come straight across there, as you can see, either one of those landing areas where the mezzanine is popped down in the middle that overlooks the kitchen, and you can walk in here to the master bedroom. I think this looks very pretty. That kind of grayish blue color on the wall blends perfectly with the bedspread, and I love that older dark wood villa furniture with that bed. There are lights hanging over the nightstands with the pretty flowers, and a couple of dressers there because this room does not have a closet anymore. It does have a door that leads out to the back balcony and you can exit right over here and come into that other connector landing that I created there over the mezzanine to another bedroom. So I've set this up as maybe a preteen girl or a teenage girl's bedroom here. It has a nice bunk bed, some light colored woods, and over here, you'll just see a wall because what I decided to do was open up the top of the guest room below, but you can use that as space beside that bedroom if you wanted to create an ensuite bath or a large closet, that would be up to you, but that's just what I decided to do with the space upstairs. Like I said, it was a little tricky the way the rooms were in the first place, especially this really long skinny room down here, but I do like how the house turned out and it was fun to go in and redecorate it. So you saw the living room and dining area, the kitchen, the pantry, laundry, the bathroom for downstairs, and then you go into the library and study and music room. Here is the guest bedroom, or it could be another kid's bedroom if you'd like. Then you come upstairs, and I've left this open to the entryway below, and then I use this as a connector room here as an office, and then you can go right here on the left over the mezzanine or the right, Here's the bathroom. You can go this way to the master bedroom, or you can use those doors over there on the right to come into the other bedroom upstairs. So as it stands right now, the house is still a three bedroom house. So that's what the remodel looks like of house number three for late July, 2020. And I also want to thank Alyssa over at Sims Therapy for picking this house for me to remodel. And I really hope you enjoyed the tour and the remodel. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so very much for watching. Take care. Hope everyone is well. And I will see you in the next video.